Hello everybody, Nick Greenancy for Kids here once again, this time with an extremely degenerate deck, but not so bad because it's also janky at the same time as most of my decks are. This is Sparks FTK, the very worst card for burning being used to beat the opponent before they even get a turn. Uh, for those who don't know, the effect of Sparks is inflict 200 damage to your opponent's life points. That's one-fourth of Nukazi and one-fifth of a Tremendous Fire and a whole lot less than Black Luster Soldier Envoy the Beginning's Attack. But we're playing that monster in this deck not to win by battle, but because of a certain card called Primal Seed. Which, if we control Black Cluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning or Cast Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, which the second one is banned in GOAT format, of course, we can target two of our banished cards and add both of them to our hand. And the way that this works is we're going to basically loop Primal Seeds over and over to add Sparks and Primal Seed to our hand again and again because we're going to be controlling a Banisher of the Light that says any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. So you'll activate Sparks, it gets banished. You activate Primal Seed to add Sparks and another removed card to your hand. It gets banished. Activate Sparks again, it gets banished. Activate Primal Seed, bring back Primal Seed and Sparks. Activate Sparks and so on and so forth until you've burned the opponent out of all of their life points little by little. If you feel very merciful to your opponent, you could instead run Poison of the Old Man or Ukazi instead of Sparks, but why would you choose to be merciful to your opponent when playing a deck that's about degeneracy? So how are we going to get this combo off? We have to have Banisher of the Light on the field and we have to have Black Luster Soldier. That's kind of weird. I mean, maybe that's possible in a normal duel, but that's not going to be very common. And then we also have to have all these cards. Well, guess what? We're playing Library Engine. Royal Magical Library. To filter through our deck until we get that combo first turn and win the duel. The way that we're going to do it is with Royal Magical Library. And because you aren't going to have your normal summon uh typically after all that you have to use premature burial to bring back banisher of the light but there's lots of ways to discard banisher of the light so you can bring it back to premature lots of ways to recur premature burial um, i'll get on to the full deck list now so that you guys can understand a bit although most of it is a lot like uh, normal library fdk decks just with uh, these cards instead of a two card combo to win so first of all, we have Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, Banisher of the Light, Premature Burial, two Primal Seeds and Sparks, which are required for the FTK. Uh, then we have three Royal Magical Library, because it's super busted in FTK decks. Three Thunder Dragon, because why would you play less than three? Helps filter out the deck and gets lights in the graveyard to banish for Black Luster Soldier. We play one Tomb Cannon Soldier because it is searchable by Tomb Table of Contents, which we play in this deck, and it is a dark monster which we need in the graveyard to be able to banish for Black Luster Soldier. Then we have three A Feather of the Phoenix, three Archfiend's Oath, which lets us pay 500 life points and declare a card name to add it to our hand, which is very easy when played alongside Convulsion of Nature, which flips our deck so we always know what the top card of our deck is. Uh, playing one card destruction sometimes uh, you don't want to activate it quite yet because you have combo pieces in your hand but sometimes you got to do it to be able to get things over with and you can recur um, a couple of pieces back to your hand when you need them because you recycle cards um, i play one different dimension capsule which lets us select a card from our deck and remove from play face down and during our second standby phase after activation we destroy it and add the card to our hand. That part really doesn't matter because we're never gonna wait two turns. We're only gonna do this in one turn. And if we can't do it in one turn, we pretty much lose. 
the reason that you play this is you will usually banish one of your combo pieces, um, such as a second Primal Seed, and add it back to your hand with the Primal Seed that uh, you draw into. Also, just generally deck thins, and you can recur it over and over and over again with Giant Trunade to accrue more spell counters onto Royal Magical Library without having to pay life points like you would with Toon World. Of course, you play Graceful Charity and Pot of Greed, uh, which, I mean, every deck is going to play it if they can. Obviously, we don't play Duo because our strategy has nothing to do with the opponent. We can just ignore that they exist. Uh, then, of course, we have three reloads to reload our hand. Um, in a replay that I will show you guys in the end, you will see that uh, this card was pretty essential to... Uh, keeping the combo going because otherwise they could have just been dead in the water and uh overall powerful card in fdk decks uh two spell reproduction it's possible that you could run three of this maybe uh in place of feather of phoenix apparently um i was asking chopper about this deck a bit and he helped me to fine tune it to what you see here and he said usually library decks play five uh, recursion cards uh, like three Feather of Phoenix and two Spell Reproduction, but uh, sometimes they'll run six or even just four, but five is usually considered the magical number. Uh, then, of course, we have three Tomb Table of Contents. Add one Tomb card from your deck to your hand. Uh, we either add Tomb World or we add our Tomb Cannon Soldier to help us uh, discard it and put it in the Grave of Black Luster Soldier. And we have two Upstart Goblins which everyone should know what that does. Uh, for those who don't know what spell reproduction does, you can discard two spell cards in your hand to add a spell card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, very good when you need combo pieces, uh, such as these, when uh, you had to discard them, such as for card destruction. Or to add back Giant Trunade to keep your combo going after you activate Convulsion of Nature and Archfiend's Oath. Get more counters on Royal Magical Library. Um... And if you are really desperate, you can add back Pot of Greed or Graceful Charity to uh, help keep the combo going again. Some considerations for this deck are you can play Shining Angel to summon your Banisher of Light if you want to go for a less FDK version, but who the heck wants to do that? Uh, you could play a second Tomb Cannon Soldier alongside Last Will to summon Tomb Cannon Soldier and use Last Will to, to summon Banisher of the Light. And of course, you can play Level Limit Area B if you want to just stall out the opponent, make them angry. Uh, if you want to destroy uh, back row hate, such as Prohibition set to Giant Trunade or Spell Fragrance, you can uh, use Heavy Storm. Uh, if the opponent has Ujama tokens that they're giving to you, you can side in Mass Driver to tribute them to get rid of them so that you can summon out your Black Luster Soldier and your Banisher of the Light and your field won't be clogged. And if the opponent is playing things such as Last Warrior from another planet to keep you from summoning your monsters, or they're using Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, you can use Swords of Concealing Light to put that monster face down. It's better than Book of Moon in this deck because you can recur it again and again with Giant Trunade to keep your combo going. And of course, Swords of Revealing Light, more stall. Uh, I have a replay for you guys. I didn't play against somebody because I, uh, <laughs> I respect my opponents and I wouldn't dare to force them to play against this janky FTK deck that would make them hate the game even more if they had to sit through all of it and besides i'm actually pretty bad with um FTK decks because i don't like to use them and i don't really study up on them so i didn't want to force them to watch me play the deck badly either so this is in solo mode thank you guys very much for watching and uh, check out that replay